Hey everybody, name is Ball again. Just here to talk about the future of MMA. Alright. It's coming to you know, this this right here is my MMA expert, alright? Because before I started watching, you know, MMA, he was watching it. He told me how good it was. So I thought it was just gay, yeah, I thought it was a bunch of you know, white men rolling the ground on the ground trying to help <laughs> each other. I mean that's how it looked. But it's it's really good. But um yeah, this is my expert right here. That's why he's in my MMA videos. So, you know, don't worry about having to see him on, you know, wrestling videos. I mean, he watches wrestling, too. But he's going to be on all my MMA videos, okay? Oh, yeah, WWE sucks. <laughs> it does. All right, dude, we're here to talk about MMA. That John yeah. Cena little Superman crap. The, fu <laughs> the future of MMA. Pride is taking over the UFC. I ain't going to say all that now. Listen, I know. I know pride like like superstar. I know a uh, Vanderlei Silva, a pride legend. Ah, right, he started in the UFC and did okay. You know, oh yeah, but thing is, uh, it was the uh, the battle, uh, like the battle of the uh, Brazilians, a uh, Hill versus Vitor Belfort. That fight ended in four in forty four seconds by a thirteen punch knockout. But dude, that was so long ago, man. Like you can't even bring that up now because that happened so long. Ago. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sorry. I mean, with, the thing about Pride is, I mean, the thing about UFC is that look, you look at it right now, you got a Pride, a, a Pride of superstar as UFC light heavyweight champion Quentin Rampage Jackson. Right now, the middleweight champion Anderson Silva, who was in Pride. You have a uh, who's the light heavyweight champion. I mean, who's the uh, lightweight champion? Well, Sharp. well, Sean Shirt made his name in the UFC, but uh, it's gradually happening. Look at uh, our other video by UFC 72. The main event has Yushin Okami in. Pride is taking over, people, and the debate about which one is better, the UFC or Pride, I mean, it's, it's about to become a reality that Pride is just better because the fighters in Pride are slowly taking out the UFC fighters one by one. I'm not one. going to say all that. What? Okay. I know you have okay, the pride a uh, middleweight champion and light heavyweight champion uh said that you might go to the UFC. He's coming for the belt, dude. Because he thinks he can win it because he beat Vandalay Silver, who destroyed Quentin Jackson. Mm -hmm. And you know, and he beat I can't remember who he beat for the other title, but I think it was something Japanese dude, something like that. Some some Japanese guy. Yeah. Can't remember no, you know, everybody in Pride is Japanese, <laughs> seem like, but uh, <laughs> it seems like it. But um, yeah, like he said, he's coming for the title. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's really coming to stay. I right, but if he win the title, then what's gonna happen then? Then he then he has to come back every now and again to fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. But yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna be like real yeah. tough on. But look, I mean, even outside of Pride in the UFC, MMA is blowing up. A superstar, you know what I'm saying? Brock Lesnar. Is now a mixed martial artist, you know what I mean? K1. Dude. K K1. He won his fight in a minute and about three seconds. The dude submitted because he was getting pounded. Just no you know, you know, just normal punches, you know, he he, he tapped Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you have to see the up position he's in. Yeah, he's he's in the mount and like the the guy's like I don't know his name because he's pretty much a nobody. <laughs> but like the guy's like he has like, you know, like he has like he has brought you know, oh, he's up against Brock Lesnar like like holding Brock Lesnar oh that way he, oh no he can't try yeah, that but, but, but Brock Brock had already passed his guard and was at the mount but it's like you know he he wasn't really landing you know those shots that you really hurt him you know what I mean but, but Brock Lesnar is like really heavy handed yeah, but Brock Lesnar he was just on top of him just shot after shot he oh he's going out. like this yeah. Like that. Well, like not, not, not like that. It was like, it was like. But like this, like this. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, then, on top of that, you know, you got UFC, uh, you know, 73 with the two title matches and, you know, Tito Ortiz was shot. That was funny. We have a, we have a prediction of that coming a little later. But, um. I have my prediction right now. But, but we, we don't need it right we'll now. we'll do it later. We'll do it, we'll do it. You know, before the match. But I, t I, I think right now we should take the time to pick the main event of the Ultimate Fighter finale. Not the Ultimate Fighter, but BJ Penn versus James Poole. Oh, yes. 
Okay. Legends. Two legends, all right? You got BJ Penn, who, you know, he was a good lightweight, couldn't beat Jens. That hits the rematch. And he went to the welterweight division and was... And, and, and submitted Matt Hughes for the title. Not many people can say they even beat him, Matt Hughes. He submitted Matt Hughes for the title. Okay. And when Matt Hughes first came, uh, he had a fight and won. Yeah, but the next fight he had, uh, he lost in like a short period of time. Yeah. Okay, but the dude that faced Matt Hughes back then, or uh, faces Matt Hughes now, would get the holy. <laughs> I can't even say beat out of him. Okay, well, I'm picking BJ Penn in this fight because I think that BJ Penn, when he lost to Jens Pover, he he's not the same fighter as he was then. I mean, he's not the same fighter now because he's been out of action. Same thing with Jens. So we'll see, but I... Where's Jens been? Jens fought at 63. He fought at 63. Are you sure? Yeah. My brother's telling me, see, this is why he's my MMA expert. He's telling me that Jens fought at 63 or whatever. We haven't seen BJ, you know, in a pretty long time. You know, I think, I mean, 63 was a long time ago, dude. I, I don't but, know. But, since well, 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 Jens is active here and there, but BJ's like, you know, he hasn't been active for a long time. All right, listen. Now, right after uh, Matthews has pounded his face in, or the little, um, or the, a little side mount that he calls the um uh, the Carlos new um position. Yeah. To Carlos. That's what he calls it. <laughs> right, right, he turns to the side to beat the nigga face in. Okay. And a dog. But um Yeah, pretty much I'm picking BJ Penn because I just think that I think B honestly I think BJ is gonna tap him up. That's just what I think. Cause I, I I I just think he is. I can't explain why. I just think I just think BJ don't doesn't like the fact he lost to him at all because that like you know if if he would have beat James Pover this fight wouldn't be happening right now because BJ is like such a big name in MMA and I think James Pover is really underrated. James Pover is one of the most underrated fighters of all time that I've seen, but um and the greatest lightweight of all time. I mean, don't forget that. And that's what he. I mean, he's my MMA legend. I'm I'm my MMA expert. He thinks he's the greatest light. Well, I mean, he is. He is. But, um, well, that's what he says. You know, I'm going to him. He t- Jess Pover. I- I'm but- telling you, people. Jess Pover. He may be old, but uh, but he still has. And, and the thing is, he's not, he's not even that old. He just had, a, you know, a good bit of fight. Uh, 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 Matt Hughes is old. I mean, he's younger than him. I'll tell you something. He, he, he's not all that old. Yeah. Yeah, but James Pover will bring it at, at that finale. He will bring it to BJ, and BJ will get his pump behind knocked out. So he's picking it. He's picking a James Pover knockout. I'm picking a uh, BJ Penn submission win. So we just have to find out at fight night, you know what's gonna happen. But until then, we're we'll, in yeah, the fight night. I mean, the fight night. Ultimate Fighter finale. Until then, we'll holla at y'all later. Get UFC 72, because we won't. Send me messages. Let me know how it is. You know, I, I won't get it, because it's $40, you know. And no titles on the line, and the card isn't that great. So I'm not going to order it, okay? UFC 73, we probably will order. But Sean DePaul has shirt. He's coming, and he will kill you. <laughs> Oh, and that dude, his face, in, will get his face pummeled in. By Hermes, Hermes Frank, Frank, whoever you were supposed to be, you will get your you face fucked up. up. <laughs> and you, and UFC seventy three, you get your over. face beat in. It is over. We weren't gonna make any picks, but we had to just let yeah, everyone know. know. At UFC seventy three, yeah. he better count the days because his ass belongs to Sean, Sean shirt. Sean the Powerhead Shark shirt. Remember that. Remember that, boys.